Hey, good evening, people, everybody, fellow soldiers of the Lord Jesus Christ, Maddie from Be Like Brains Ministries. I'm just going to make a very quick video on a subject that I thought I, I'd already put to bed last year that I don't need to talk about anymore since I talked about it enough. I'm still getting comments from either videos that friends of mine made that I've commented on or videos I've made about a certain YouTuber on a certain channel, you know who, and I'm making this video to say there's no need for y'all to be asking me questions about what's going on with somebody when that's not even any of my business to know any of that. And I've already moved on. I've said what I've needed to say. I've repented. I've forgiven them. No, I don't agree with them spiritually. No, absolutely not. But I've forgiven him. I've moved on. And now our channel's more focused on actually uncovering what is true. And just making sure people know truth. And we, we're not going to be addressing people or exposing people, but exposing the lies that are shared on a YouTube platform. And then making sure you know truth so that way you can refute any lie you hear. And then you can do your own research and mark and avoid. That's the whole point of the channel Be Like Brains Ministries. The reason why I mentioned... The person's name at the time that I did was because I know the person personally and I was hoping in regards to him and the people that were watching and following him closely that he would repent it didn't happen unfortunately but there's still time continue to pray for him because he does have a good heart the problem is he doesn't have truth, and unfortunately, if he doesn't repent, well, we already know what's going to happen. So, do pray for his repentance and deliverance, as well as others who preach the same thing, the works gospel, or a message that they say isn't works, but it is. They just disguise it with other titles like repent of your sins or making Christ the Lord master of your life to be saved so on and so forth so we don't have to publicly expose them we can just expose what they're saying we were not going to say any names of anybody anymore that was last year this year it's more focused on the actual lie itself instead of the person And if you do hear that person say that and they choose not to repent, then yes, you mark and avoid. You attempt to share truth with them first. If they choose not to repent, then you just mark and avoid until they do. So that's all I need to say about that. So guys, please stop asking me questions about things I talked about last year. That's last year, okay? And it stays in last year. And there isn't really any need for me to bring up videos I made from last year and still ask me about it a year later. I said what I said last year. And sure, I still stand by it. But I don't need to talk about it anymore this year if I said it last year. It's just silly. I've already moved on. And a lot of people that are subscribed to the channel that I talked about told me to move on. So I did what they tell me. And yeah, sure, they haven't really said a lot. But I have already moved on. I have already straightened it out. And I don't need to hear any more comments or questions on YouTube telling, asking me if I still think about this guy, talk about this guy, have any, I guess, whatever they call hate in my heart, which isn't even true in the first place. Even he knows that. 
And maybe the one thing I might have done differently is gone to him in person first, okay? Yeah, I'll admit that. Or talking about him as much as I did last year. And I've repented from that. And I really do hope he does well. And I hope he is doing well. And for the sake of this channel, we're just only going to expose, I guess, what's said instead of the actual person. So if I hear a point, I'll just make a point or we'll read a verse that sounds like it's contradictory and then read it in context with the rest of the verses. So you can know truth. And we've been doing that lately. And it seems like that has gone better because it's given you more ammo against the enemy instead of actually going after the person. So. And there's plenty of free, free grace, once saved, always saved YouTubers that are going after the people themselves. So if you really want to know who isn't preaching the word right, there's plenty. I mean, we got one guy who's notorious for that, Mr. Jack Smack. You can go watch his channel. He'll expose anybody. He's good at it. Give him props, and he preaches the word in truth, so hallelujah. I mean, you've got Nicholas Getty, who still does it. I mean, I guess Greg Jackson still does it. For the sake of this channel, though, there really isn't any need to. We're just more focused on what's being said and preparing you to defend truth against a lie you may hear. So that way, if somebody tells you this lie... You can sit down with them and try to teach them truth. And if they refuse to believe it, then you mark and avoid. And you don't need to say anything about them publicly. I goofed last year by doing it too much. And I don't need to talk about it anymore. I'm just making this video to let y'all know that that's last year. So if anyone comments about him or what happened to him and his supposed wife. That's last year. Okay. And just pray for both of them. And quit trying to ask questions, trying to divide people. It's just weird. Especially if it was talked about last year. Okay. Last year. Not this year. Last year. This isn't anything recent. This is last year. So I don't need to be hearing about things that happened last year and you bringing them up when it happened last year. That's 2020. We're in 2021. This happened a year ago. And I'm more focused on uncovering what verses mean in truth instead of making exposed videos. So that way you can have truth and do your own homework yourself so you can be on guard. This isn't anything to do with me. I give an account for my life. You're going to give an account for yours. And we're just going to go from there. And that's all I got. If you haven't watched the recent video about the Santa, if people think that people worship Santa, the Santa Satan, that was the last video I made. If you haven't watched that, make sure you do because every sensible person over the age of 12 knows that Santa Claus is not real, okay? Fictitious character. It's fiction. Nobody worships fiction that has any sense, all right? But anyways, just wanted to come on and address that and... I won't be replying to any comments about videos I made last year. That doesn't make any sense. So if people are going to ask me questions about things that happened last year that I've already forgiven the other person for and moved on from that I don't need to revisit because God told me not to. So I'm not going to do that. You're welcome. God bless y'all. Keep the faith. Go share the gospel. In the holiday season, the greatest gift has ever been given is the gift of salvation, and let's celebrate it. Hallelujah.